Hi, this is David, and uh, this is more or less uh, a video to like point out three things I wish DaVinci Resolve would solve with their subtitling interface and options. Welcome to this video, and maybe if you use DaVinci to subtitle your videos, you have similar concerns. So, uh, as I've walked you through other tutorials, here are our subtitles here. Uh, but there are a couple of three things that I wish DaVinci allowed us to do. For example, if I click on the first subtitle, you'll notice that this particular box uh, is good. Yes, it is. And you can make different adjustments to the background. That is, uh, using this option, you can turn it off and you can turn it on. Uh, you can change the different widths. You can have an outline width and everything in between. But what happens when you have a shorter subtitle? What happens when you have a one liner? For example, this particular subtitle. You'll notice that the subtitle more or less is floating inside the box. So the first request is DaVinci Resolve. Can you kindly make this particular background or box adaptive such that uh, if somebody has more text, then it fits in like this. If the text is small, like this one line, then it fits for the one line. Just that simple. Just make this maybe like a checkbox or something uh, for this to fit this way. Uh, if you look at this also, uh, we move, let's say to this one. This one and this one looks good. But when you look at this, they look like they're floating. That is request number one or issue number one that I would like to see DaVinci solve out. So maybe I'm the only one having this issue or maybe the other people having this particular issue. But if anybody else is having this, this issue, maybe we can all just maybe tweet or even just ask DaVinci to just change this. That is issue number one. Issue number two uh, is in the transform uh, that is the position of X and Y. Now, the reason why I have an issue with this particular transform option is simple. When you have subtitles on your timeline, and let's say, for example, this particular subtitle might be hiding this uh, text behind here. Let's say you have a lower third graphic or other graphics that you wanted to pass around here. And you are going to be burning in this particular subtitle permanently to your video, then this becomes a problem because this particular subtitle will be on top of the word transcripts. What if somebody cannot see that best, uh, that well? Then the other alternative would be to change the Y position and move this somewhere up, somewhere like that. It moves that out of the way. Unfortunately, what happens is that this tends to be holistically for all the subtitles on the timeline. From the start to the end, it pushes all subtitles to the top. Now, this is not ideal. Uh, sincerely speaking, it should be. Uh, for example, in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, it's possible to do that for individual uh, subtitles. For example, if we're in this particular subtitle, then we can have something uh, that we can adjust. Maybe let's say if we click on this particular subtitle, the transform option can be for, let's say, all subtitles, or we can also have individual subtitles. This would really help us if we're dealing with lower third graphics, uh, rather than just have a holistic approach to uh, just having these subtitles move up or down. So let's just reset this. It comes back down. That looks good. If you have lower that graphics here, then you might need to push up. That is a lot of work, especially if you don't have the money. Uh, there are better applications at doing that uh, or even using other different fonts like Alpha Substation uh, subtitles that are available in IG Sub and Subtitle Edit. And maybe if you supported that particular format, 
then maybe that is something somebody can work with. My third and final issue uh, is with the export. Now, the reason why I have an issue with the export is that for you to export the subtitle as an SRT file or a web VTT file, then you have to render out the video. Let's to look at a scenario. What if you have a one hour video? What do you do? Do you wait for the one hour video and maybe you wanted to send the subtitle to somebody so that they can work on it? I don't think so. So potentially what I'd recommend is that when I click on deliver uh, above this section, if I just uh, scroll to the end, you, we can see the option for audio only. What if DaVinci uh, and the people behind DaVinci added an option, subtitle only. And then once somebody clicks on subtitle only, then you have the different options, SRT, SRT without formatting or web VTT. That would be awesome for anybody that uses subtitles on a day to day basis. So uh, that's just me uh, thinking out loud the box, this particular background to be adaptive to the text that one writes. Next up, the transform option. Can it be for individual subtitles? If somebody wants uh, it to be for all subtitles, then it can be that. And finally, the option to deliver subtitles only without rendering a video. Now, I hope that my thoughts are clear and maybe other people or creators have this particular issue and maybe you can back me up. That's just me. And I hope that somebody watches this video and implements this. Thank you so much for creating a wonderful product. If you've watched this video, like it, share it with DaVinci, and hopefully they can implement the recommendations or the uh, issues that we've, they'll, they'll notice the issues that we have and then make updates uh, down the road. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay safe and be blessed.